Hello, welcome back to my channel. Another another week in quarantine. <laughs> Isn't it great? <laughs> so this week was, I think, my first full week in the house, which is grand. And I put together, I wanted to do an extra video this week. So here's kind of what I got up to. Um, I tried to keep a balance of busy, but also rest. Balance, I think, is the key. Um, Obviously, I'm still, I get up with the crack of dawn because my body clock is used to getting up for work. Um, so when I get up early, I just roll with it. So sometimes I'm up at like seven in the morning painting walls, um, but I'm just gonna roll with it. If you've seen last Sunday's video, I was starting to kind of clean up. So I tackled the office and I tackled the receipt box of doom. So here's what I got up to in the office this week. Can you tell that I am doing everything I possibly can except the receipt box of doom? So... <laughs> Ooh, that is not too bad, but it's totally like... Ooh. And then this is like... Ew. Can you see why I've been putting off the receipts? Okay, and I also just have random ones. But I have purchased myself some folders, a whole punchy thingy, and I'm gonna put them in order. And that's a start. Actually, I'm gonna procrastinate for a few more minutes because I never actually told you guys I got my play button and it's up here. I am going to frame it with my miter saw that you might have seen me unboxing. I bought that last week and I think I'm going to... Oh, I don't know what that was, but Pepsi jumped on the thing. Um, this arrived, I got it just after I came back from holidays in January, February. 
So we've got the official play button. So I'm going to see if I can get some old skirt and border scrap wood and I'm going to make a lovely frame to slot this into if that makes sense. So I'm thinking a lovely thick white frame and then just place this in the middle because these are beautiful and I feel like they just need a little something extra. So I'm going to have a shot at framing it. Um, Lord knows when I'll get wood from the shops with everything going on but um, just letting you know that it came and it came in a lovely box um, and then you get like a little certificate with it as well so I'm going to, I've got like, I'm showing off now, I've got two other awards there but I'll pop it up here for now and then I'll get around to framing it at some stage. this week was I baked I have not baked right so since home ec so I'm gonna show my age now I'm 32 and I think in home ec how old are you like 14 15 juniors there home ec now and I haven't like baked since then so my friend gave me a recipe for scones and when I was in the supermarket I was like I'll get some baking stuff um, I clearly didn't get all of the bacon stuff I need, but you know what, here's how it went. A for effort, not bad for my first time in a while. Here's how baking went. I'm going to attempt to bake a scone. <laughs> but I haven't baked since like home economics, so you're talking like what, 15 years ago? <laughs> right, let's give it a bash. So I went to Tesco and so my friend gave me, watch my eggs, the recipe. So self-raising flour, milk, a pinch of salt, we have that. Golden caster sugar. Okay. Oh, that says golden. Oh, my cooker's gonna. I have caster sugar, but I don't know if it's the right one. Um, butter or margarine. We have butter in here. Um... Okay, and preheat the oven. Okay, we can preheat the oven. So I know weighing is important when it comes to baking, and I do have this scales. Now, <laughs> I only had the scales because it looks pretty. But my friend said, no, you can actually use this. This is to weigh your stuff. So I'm gonna just clean this and then I suppose, I don't know what 220 grams looks like. So I'm just gonna have to pour until I do. Oh, I actually, I don't know what made me think I needed eggs. I don't need eggs. <clears throat> so, let's start with the flour. So what I'll do is, <laughs> I probably should have watched some YouTube videos on how to make scones, but I'm just gonna wing it. I'm gonna go on my friend's advice. I trust her, she's a good baker. I'm gonna weigh my stuff and pop it in my bowl. I have a bowl here. I don't know why I thought I needed eggs. Do you not need eggs to make a batter? Or not a batter, a dough. Maybe not. I got to assume two two five is like here. So Oh it's moving. Okay. Two Oh yes. Okay, this is fun. Oh I feel like I'm on the bake off. Okay. 
and that goes. So now I need, do you have to do it in order? Let me see, what do I need? Oh, I forgot to sieve the flour into the bowl. Sieve flour and salt into a bowl. Stir in the sugar. Rub in butter. Okay, so I don't throw it all in a bowl. Okay, I'm gonna sieve this in. In like forever. Oh yeah, this is fun. <laughs> Boom, okay. So a pinch of salt, wasn't it? A pinch of salt, I keep having to look at the recipe. Store in the sugar. Oh, I have to weigh the sugar. There. I, oh, I hope this is right. In my sugar. Oh, I don't even know if I'm using the right spoon. Rub in butter or margarine and I need 25 grams of butter. Butter, butter, butter. Butter man, butter man. Where is my knife? I really don't know what I'm doing here. It says to use a quarter of a pint. I don't have like liquid measuring things. So, but I do have a pint glass. So I'm sure if a quarter, like, we're gonna have to eyeball it, which probably isn't good for bacon. I know he's very strict with bacon and stuff. So I want like half, this is a pint and I just need a quarter. So maybe I'll add less to begin with. Then do I use my hands then? It's like stuck to my hands. Is your hand supposed to look like this? I'm going to get something to roll it on. I might actually just use the worktop because I don't think I have that big enough. Um, so I'm gonna clean this down so we can knead it. This is how my dough is looking, which isn't too bad. Now, I also messed up. I don't have a rolling pin. So I've been looking for things cylindrical in the house. And this bottle of Guinness is cylindrical. And I'm gonna have to use this as a roller. Like, I'm not, like, I don't even have Pringle tubes. We have to do what we have to do. So, this is what I think we do. Another thing I don't have is, I don't have a cutters. So, my friend said I can use a cup, but she said like, it might not be perfect, but this is nice and wide. Hmm. Oh, okay, that's not too bad. I also don't have a baking tray, but I have like a, <laughs> a chicken roasting dish. This is disaster, guys. Don't, don't copy me. So I'm putting some bacon paper into the, the roasting dish. Listen, if they could make stones in like, if they made scones back in the day and they didn't have the fancy stuff we have now, I can make scones with my makeshift rolling pin and roasting dish. This is actually quite fun. I just hope when I put them in the oven that they, like rise and they do like it's, I just think it's magic. You put all these ingredients together and bang in an oven and they just grow. Like it's like gardening but bacon. So according to my recipe, 10 minutes. That's actually quite good. So let's just hope they do what they're supposed to do. Okay. Let's clean up the kitchen and come back in 10 minutes. We're up, it smells amazing. They smell like scones. So, oh, oh my God, they look like scones too. Oh my God, this is magic. Why have I never baked? Look at them. Look, they look like scones. Okay, I have to get my wire tray now. 
washing on my uh, recipe, it just says, after we bake, cool on a wire tray. So I have a wire tray that I got in like, pound shop. But I kind of want to eat them warm. So, like, they're done I think. Like, they're lovely. Golden. There's my wonky one. But even that one is done. So I'll let that kill. I just sent the picture of my scones to my friend who sent me the recipe. Shout out Adele. Um, and I was like, do these look like scones? <laughs> because they smell like scones. They smell lovely. I kind of want to eat one warm. But it says to let them cool. Like they're not scalding. Let's make tea. I've got a pot of homemade jam that I got at Christmas time. It hasn't been opened so I'm going to, let's make tea, get the jam and let's eat. Well, we're in lockdown now so all six of these are mine. <laughs> was I'm going to say it was a success but I also tackled the odd presses um, there was one in the bathroom that every time I opened you'll notice that everything on the outside looks nice and tidy but if you have watched any of my declutter videos when you open a drawer it's like bang and it spills out so I had a cabinet in the bathroom it could definitely probably still do with something on the inside but I think I could did a good job organizing it. Okay, so in here, I have this cabinet that fits perfectly, but when you open it, sorry, that is the toilet filling back up. It's like super shockingly messy and dirty inside. So I'm gonna pull it out and give it a good clean. Like, okay, this is gonna get messy. Let me zoom in. So I can't seem to get a lot of the stains, so a lot of the items, so like fig tan and all of this, that's actually stained now, the product is gone. Like I could totally paint the inside, but I suppose I could, um, but it's MDF so I'm going to have to prime it and stuff. So that's for another day, but I cleaned it up as best I could. So now I'm going to thin out on any empty bottles because there is empty bottles in here and put it back together. So last up on the random things I've been doing this week, um, I attempted to do some more paintings. Um, I'm not an artiste, well no, I believe we're all artists in our own way. Um, I love Bob Ross videos and if you've seen my Halloween Bob Ross video, if you need a laugh, go watch my Halloween Bob Ross video, I'll, I'll put it here. Um, 
I just find he is so relaxing and last night on the news they announced another restriction and I woke up and I was like oh I feel a bit tense and I was like I know what will fix this Bob Ross so I had a session with Bob Ross So that is what I got up to this week. Lots of, I actually started painting the garden wall. I didn't film that because I think I might do a garden um, like refresh video. I have to say the weather has been lovely, <laughs> like proper spring weather. So it is nice. Um, our restrictions got tighter like everyone by the looks of it. Um, so I have a two kilometre radius now to exercise in so I'm not allowed so we can go to the supermarket we can drive to like you know the supermarket and the chemist and if you are still working what it seems it's all only essential work now and they did close the hardware stores but that's okay <laughs> we have to do what we have to do stay inside I hope you guys are all getting on well this week that you're staying healthy um, and that you're staying sane as well. Um, it is nice in a way because it's nice to have a rest. Like when else are we gonna have a rest like this? Um, but then on the flip side, it also is scary as well. But we can only do what we can do. And right now we need to just stay inside and entertain ourselves. So that's what I would have to this week. I also have um, a sewing video with Christina from DIY Mommy that went up on Thursday. It's scrap fabric and um, we're showing you how to make things out of scrap fabric and they're really, what Christina did and what I did is really beginner friendly. Um, so if you want to check that out and have a shot, if you have any fabric scraps, all tea towels, all bed linen, you can have a shot at that. So I am going to end it there and I will see you on Thursday for another video. So. Stay safe and I'll see you then. Bye.